Chris here from Friendly Frenzy Games. Today we're going to be hopping into the freshly released tape to tape roguelite hockey game. Um, started a couple of matches here already in the campaign, but just to kind of give you a sense of the customization or the Blade Master as it's called in this game, um, what you're able to do and kind of customize your team and customize your superstars here a little bit. Just kind of learning as I play through here. As I said before, I've already kind of started in this and it seems to be that as you progress through each of the different stages, if you lose, you get sent back to the beginning. I guess maybe that's the roguelite about it, but as you do so, you'll unlock different abilities. You'll unlock some rubber for all of your wins. Um, it looks to be a couple rubber at a time and you're going to be able to turn around and plug those into some power-ups here. So as you can see, you already start out with the Head Smasher and the Yo-Yo. The last time I played quickly, I unlocked the Tomahawk. I just lost again and figured I'd be able to kind of record a little better here as we go through and actually play. So as I said, I just lost again, but I unlocked the Mega Sauce. Obviously, I don't have enough rubber to be able to actually um, use it yet but we'll play through and just kind of give you a sense of what this game's like. So as you can see here at the Blade Master Shop, we obviously have our skills that we can use to put onto our superstars. We've got some attributes that we can go through and obviously using 10 rubber, we can go through and upgrade the attributes of our chosen superstars. Don't have enough rubber to be able to do this yet. Um, we also have obviously our superstars here. So you can see that we have quite a few that are still right now um, locked to us to start. But you start out with three of them here. So Rory McShaggy, um, Calvin Dord, and Kelly Jelly. Now you can see each one has their own kind of special ability. And each one is also going to have, or sorry, each time you play you're also going to have um, the main character Angus. So you're basically picking a superstar to play alongside him, and these are their chosen abilities here. So Rory McShaggy has the Tomahawk that you can basically throw at um, opponents, but they can also hit your team and cause some friendly fire on the ice. Calvin Dord has like a yo-yo, and essentially once you hit it, um, the Y button once, it'll activate. It's essentially like a puck on a string almost. So it kind of releases the puck and then as soon as you click Y again it'll uh, bring it back to you so you can kind of perform a little bit of deking there and Kelly Jelly has a tornado and basically she's just doing quite a few spin deeks there so that's kind of prefacing those skills as far as I know so far but we can hop into the game here and I'll show you really quickly kind of what this looks like so each time you restart at the beginning of the chapter, they're going to give you um, the chance to switch your ability on Angus, and this is just going to be based on the ones that you have unlocked. So as you can see, I explained quickly the yo-yo before and the tomahawk, but we also have head smasher, which basically lets you slap the puck directly to the face of your opponents, but again, I found that this is kind of friendly fire too, but it basically gives you a little kind of separate angle to be able to deflect pucks into the net. So I'm going to go ahead and I think because we already have somebody on our team with the Tomahawk, I'm going to go ahead and pick one that we don't have and I will do the Head Smasher. As I said before here too, um, you pick a superstar now to play on your team alongside Angus. I've found um, a lot of my other people to be pretty slow when I've played with Rory and with Calvin. Obviously, Rory's the most kind of well-balanced. You can see, obviously, his, sp his speed is 51, checking 59, shot power 58, and accuracy is 52. I'm going to try Kelly Jelly this time, only because I feel like right now what I'm lacking is speed. She also had a decent accuracy, not the greatest, but a decent accuracy of 47. So hopefully we can rip a couple of wristers in here, but we'll see how we go. So also at the beginning of each run, um, you're going to be able to choose a random artifact and this is going to be basically a modifier that applies to the different matches in between here. So I haven't seen these before yet, so we can see here that Fossilized Star gives our bench warmers 20% speed or 20 speed, which sounds awesome to me. Um, high Flyer lobbed passes are two times higher, 
or we have referee rumble so you gain 20 overall when the referee is down that's probably pretty good because it's 20 overall to all of your stats when the referee is down but i feel like a lot of my guys are pretty weak right now you'd have to kind of sit and chop at the referee a little bit or hit him with the tomahawk skill but again because we don't have our superstars with that i think it probably makes more sense just to give all of my other players a 20 percent speed boost so We'll rock the fossilized star and give this a go here. See how we're set up. So as you can see here, we're kind of in Tentacle Valley, which is our first act. We have a couple of different things. We need to start off on this ice rink here. And you can see just by kind of looking at the legend that our first task is a challenge. And it's always the same team, at least for this first challenge. And it's always the same challenge. It is essentially to get the first goal um, in the game here and if you do that you're gonna unlock a talent now because I've completed it already I don't think I get another talent, but we'll see how it goes and if I can actually complete this here So face-offs are a little different and this game's a lot different than an NHL and the fact that you don't really have a skill stick It's very much back to if you kind of use the buttons to play NHL as opposed to hybrid or skill stick only, whereas you're pressing, for me right now, I'm playing with a controller. So you have a button to pass, you have a button to shoot, and buttons for your abilities, but there's no real easy way to deke. Um, there isn't ways to kind of poke check or shot block aside from um, just kind of getting in the lanes here. You can hold, like for me, I'm using the Xbox controller right now. You can use left trigger to um, kind of skate backwards, which is helpful in defensive positions, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to play through here. Again, like because I'm so used to games like NHL, the controls seem a little clunky. But again, it's just because everything, like my guys definitely seem faster this time. But um, because there isn't ways to stick lift or play how I would usually play, it's definitely a little bit to get used to. Can't use the skill stick, so again, like it feels a little clunky, but it is fun to play. And I think the, the gem of this game is the abilities and the different modifiers, because obviously it's something that you would never find in an NHL game. And I super appreciate the fact that this is one of actually probably the only hockey game that's felt different in the last I don't even know how many years like there's only so much um, NHL that you can play so a little breath of fresh air with this one for sure just going through you can see also that offsides obviously aren't a thing in this game there are they are also sorry aren't penalties from as far as I've been able to tell if there are they're not going to be your standard ones anyways because it's legal to throw sticks at your opponent's head so Obviously kind of defeats the purpose of a lot of penalties here. Trying to get some space. Just trying to get pucks on net. Create some rebounds here. I feel like that's the easiest way to score. Rip the slapper from... Oh, we got a deflection apparently. I definitely thought that was a slap shot going in from the point. But looks like Rory McShaggy came in clutch with us and gave us a nice little redirect here. Right through traffic. Took away goalie's eyes. Here we go, that's how you take down the Spartans. Gotta love it. So as you can see here, we picked up our first win. We're gonna get a couple of extra rubber here, which is essentially, again, just our upgrade points. So we can see that we have a total of six right now. We know it's not enough to get us the next upgrade or it's not enough to upgrade our abilities right now either as we're needing 10 for really to be able to do anything. Uh, we basically annihilated the Spartans here. Um, six shots to none. Couple of hits. Time on attack was pretty well the same. But it's cool too that you can go through and actually see like a detailed breakdown of goals, shots, assists, and passes. But not really necessary right now. Not sure if it's going to play a bigger part later. But now you can see here. So I guess we do get another talent, which is really cool. Not really sure how. Um, this works if we just apply it randomly to somebody or what, but we can double check here. So on guard is disarm your opponent on a successful poke check. So there is a way to poke check. I'm just saying that there's not a button to be able to do it. To actually poke check, what you need to do is just kind of stand in the lane. Whereas again, if you've played NHL, you 
usually used to like a po check button, whether it be right bumper or you know the A button to stick lift, but there isn't any of that in this game. So on guard might be pretty helpful, but I feel like I'm always kind of moving and not really standing in the lane. I'm more so trying to like block pucks if anything, but Bone Crusher, so checking, we get plus 20, the opponent gets thrown further, that could be helpful. Or we could get a plus 30 checking, hit opponents without the puck in the offensive zone. I'm looking for a stat boost right now, so I'm going to just do what's going to give me the highest um, point overall here, so we'll take the 30 checking. We can see here, I'm not sure if it's going to make the most sense to just keep boosting somebody who has checking, or if I want to kind of round out my roster. I think what I'm going to do is give Kelly Jelly some checking. She's already got 80 speed, so if she can fly around the ice here and start taking some people out for us, I think that'd be super beneficial. So now we're back. We have the option to pick one of two pathways. You can only pick one per run, so you got to kind of figure out what's going to make the most sense for you. You can see here that obviously down on our bottom option, we have training, or we could go our top route here and pick an event. I think for this, it tells you what the um, talent or whatever it is that we would actually get. So I think that kind of helps you make your decision between whether or not you want to do training or the event. So this one here is more or less saying that this will give Angus the ability to make passes that can't be intercepted and propel his teammates with great speed. Honestly, I love that already because we're playing this time with the idea of speed behind us. Um, uh, looks like as soon as you actually pick this option, you don't have the option to back out. So you have to go through and continue. So you don't even get a chance to see what the training would give you. So that's my bad there. But anyways, we know now that once you pick a path, you have to commit to it. There isn't really a way to kind of weigh your options. So we know at least Angus is going to be able to toss up some passes that can't get intercepted. That's super helpful. Hopefully get a good couple of transition games, get some good breakout going, but we'll see what we have in store now. So we're playing an elite game. With this one, we just have to win, and it looks like we the duration is two periods. So we're going to get another talent if we can beat these guys here. So let's see what we got. I'm assuming that halo on Angus means that he has passes that can't be intercepted. We have some cheesy dialogue here, but we can get into the game. So the face-offs are a little funky too. They're a little hard to predict. I mean, at least right now. You gotta kind of follow like the referee's arms here, but some of them are short, some of them are longer. You can see that took a bite out of my guy there. Mess up the ice. Do some spinners. Ooh, let's go some. shot. Throw some checks. Getting pretty clunky for towards the front of the net here. A little harder to control, but let's see what we can do. We got that. Without the ability to like use a skill stick to deke, it, you can definitely feel pretty flat-footed at times in this game, and that you don't have a whole lot of control over what's going on. But again, like I think really the gem with this game really is the abilities and the modifiers. It definitely makes gameplay fun. It's just um, a very noticeable adjustment from like any NHL game or any other hockey game that you can kind of recall playing in recent times for sure. Whoa, there's a sudden boost of speed there. That must have been the pass from Angus that gave us that speed boost there. Leveled that guy. Wow. Here we go again. Angus bringing somebody with a pass. Can't intercept it. And we got... Oh, oh too powerful. Oh, we got that one in. We got that one in. Another shot from the point. Nobody deflected it this time.
Not sure how the goalie didn't get that one, but we'll take what we can get for sure. For sure. Awesome. Let's see if we can win this face off. Period's about to end. One last shot. Oh, almost got the rebound. That's the end of the first period here. See if we can hold on to this lead. Pretty good position for shots. Time on attack is horrible because a lot of the times, honestly, I like to get into the zone in this game and basically shoot because it's hard to get to the front of the net without being able to use a skill stick and deke your way through. So until I get some better abilities or figure out actually what I'm doing, I'm going to keep kind of just playing from the point, taking some shots, get some deflections, and see where we can go from there. Already stuck in my net here, and that's going to translate to a pretty quick goal from them. That sucks. You don't want to start a period uh, with a quick goal against. So basically even this game right back up again. And let's see if we can pick this back up here. Let's bring our speedster, see if we can get some space, and right into the legs. I'm going to try and... A shot here with Angus if I can try that head smasher. Don't feel like we've gotten really a chance to try that out quite yet, so that sucks. Oh, that was bad. Gonna start flattening some people here. They got a good cycle game going on now. Here we go, get some speed again, some spin deeks, spin deeks, and there we go. It wasn't really a shot. I think it just came off our spins, but I will take it. Kelly Jelly with zero accuracy. Just kind of flips it in on the goalie here for top cheese or whatever their cheese. Oh, beauty. Beauty. We'll take that. Very clearly a home game for the cheese heads here, whatever their name is. Let's see if we can get Angus back in this game here. Take away the front of the net. We've got too many guys standing around doing nothing. Oh, we almost sprung that. There we go. Good hit. Go for another spin. Got taken out. Not a good pick up there, though. Stand in the lane. Oh. These guys are just reefing shots on us right now, though. Over the glass, bud. Wow, see that that face off is quick. This guy's paid the rest, I think. Just hold on, hold on. Nice. Saving it with the face. Wow. We almost lost that. I don't know if it's just because the goalie like glitched or because the buzzer went. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden <laughs> it ended up in our net. But we'll take a 2-1 two, two, win any day. Let's see what we get here. Got another two rubber. So it doesn't seem to matter what kind of game you win. If it's an elite game or just a challenge, you're going to get two rubber regardless. At least right now in this first stage. You can see we got severely outplayed. Top Cheese was uh, all about it here. Apparently they're the Eastern All-Stars, I think. 15 shots to 10. We out hit them, but that's because I like to play aggressive and pull myself out of position all the time. You can tell, again, just by the style of game that I play, <laughs> I'm horrible. Uh, time on attack is a fraction of what they had because, again, I'm coming in and just ripping from the point. Pass percentage, apparently, I just can't aim passes either. Face offs were a joke, but <laughs> we won. <laughs> we won. So let's see what we have now for some talents. We have on guard, so disarming again. We have iron helmet, so minus 20 speed, plus 20 checking, plus 40 shot power. Honestly, I want to keep rolling with the speed right now. We have rebound magnet, so opposing goaltender rebounds will be directed towards you. Love that. If I'm going to be ripping from the point, I would love anybody around the net to be able to get this here. Who do we want to take it? I want somebody who has the most accuracy just to kind of clean up some wristers. Oh, okay. Kelly Jelly. I thought she had no accuracy. She's got 47. We give it to Kelly Jelly because she's quick and has some accuracy. Hopefully she can flip some li little wristers. 
uh, coming off the point, but we'll see how those rebounds actually affect us here. So we have the option right now to pick an event or to take a challenge. I'm always up for a challenge. But let's see what we have. It's another one against the Spartans. First goal wins reward. Uh, we get a talent. Let's see what we got here. Challenge, first goal wins. Sounds good. See if we can win this face off. Nope, not a chance. I guess we're home, we're away. Oh, she's fast. Those Angus passes are very, very fast. Oh, wow, that's so bad. Yeah, I deserve to lose there. Let's get Springer again. Let's see what we got, see what we got. No! I wanted that rebound. Didn't come out, though. Sprung, sprung. Try and get it to Tiny over here. Ah! Oh. I just wanted a wrist shot. I didn't want to slap it, but. Oh, yeah. Leave it to the bench warmer. Screw that one up. On the top right corner. Did not happen. Just missed my check there. Horrible. Let's see if we can spring Tiny again, or whatever her name is. Oh, just gonna try. Oh, wow. Look at these boys some accuracy. Tiny's just taking everybody out here. Oh, it's Jelly Kelly, Kelly Jelly, whatever her name is. Oh, we got rebound, and there's too many dead people in front of the net there. <laughs> Love that I just keep calling her Tiny. Now I remember, ooh, good intercept there. Spring this one, go for a couple of spins. And the accuracy, and Kelly Jelly comes in clutch again. Nice little flick of the wrist. Short side on the goalie here. We'll take those all day. Beat the defenders. Go for a couple of Austin Matthews spinners. And there we go. Top cheese. Love it. Absolutely love it. Here we go. First goal wins. Completed this challenge now. And we'll see what we get here. So we get some more rubber. Obviously with 10 now, we have the ability to unlock that next ability that we had. Or we can go through and give a permanent um, stat upgrade. Only had three shots there, out hit them massively, seven. Time on attack was much more even this time, so I'll take that. 100% of the passes, so apparently I played way better than I did last game, so I'll take that too. Again, the last game was an elite game, so I'm not sure really how much better that makes the opposing team, but clearly, I mean, unless I just played Unreal this time, which I don't think I did. Um, we'll see how this goes. So a couple more talents here, which is awesome. Momentum, so we can permanently gain, permanently gain five speed after winning a game. That's super cool. Safety first, stays between his own net and the closest enemy skater. That could be interesting, but I don't want to restrict somebody to my zone right now. Mind you, having Angus with that and the kind of breakout passes could be interesting. Um, or the defensive deflect or deflect opponent's shots. I like the idea of that too. I just don't know how well it's going to work. I love the idea of permanent speed because like I said, that's really what I feel. I'm still kind of lacking in this game and because I feel flat-footed without a skill stick, I think speed is what's going to help me keep kind of chugging along here. Um, our lowest speed is Nick Shaggy believe it or not so he's got a lot of abilities and stuff on him but obviously his stats are horrible maybe you can only actually upgrade his abilities in or his permanent stats anyways in the um bladesmith that's good to know because it's honestly something that i wasn't really paying attention to i thought you could kind of customize your entire bench but Apparently not. That would make a lot of sense though. So anyways, we chose the speed. We have to just make sure that we keep on winning so that we can get these plus five speed bonus um, to Angus here. And we are playing another elite game. So let's see what we got here. We're playing Greasy Lettuce. Let's see what we got here. Two periods, elite game. I didn't pay attention to the parameters. Maybe it's just come out ahead at the end of two periods. I'll take that. See if I can play a little better than that other elite game that we played before. 
I don't like that already. I'm trying to take those seam passes away, but again, not the easiest in this game. But definitely easier when you have some speed. But I'm, oh god, I'm really missing the lay down shot blocks. I didn't do that. Oh, he almost rung it. That was off the, that was from the bench too. Bench warmer. Not sure where. I guess the puck was stuck somewhere. Just shelled it out to the goalie here. Oh, thought my goalie was going to pick that up, but he didn't play it. Apparently got a poke check there. Got to just keep firing these pucks at the net because I want the rebounds to come back out so we can make use of that perk or the talent or whatever that was. You can see we're already going to get an out. Not at, wow. Not at work, but out skated for sure. Oh, you can see the rebound came back out to us, but not in a very good position. See if we can get our bench guy to pick this up. Oh, goalie's going to come out and play it. Sweet. Get some, get some speed here. Try and... Oh, can't do that. Got no checking ability here. Oh, that's not good. They're in behind us here. Here we go. Oh, nice. It's close. I felt like we had a pretty good chance on that one. Oh, that's not who I wanted to go to either. Get this guy out. Kelly Jelly. Nice. Good glove save. Ooh, that was a good slap shot. Go for one shot. And that would have been a nice rebound. We had somebody coming right up the slot, but... Obviously, we didn't quite get that. Shot power wasn't enough to make really any. I didn't think I played that well, but we got eight shots, five hits. Time on attack is way closer. Pass percentage is way higher, so I will take this one so far. Only had one face off in that, which is good, because like I said, these things are hard to predict sometimes. Again, that was another quick one I found. But maybe I'm just bad. That was nice. Back up. Ooh. Held on to that too long. Try another face up here. Oh, we won this one. That's kind of nice. Blocked on the way to the net. Oh, and they're speeding. Oh, sweet. Get the goalie here. Ah, it sucked. Couldn't get around. into this game he's not doing anything oh they missed that gaping net that was crazy oh again we all ended up on one side Did Kelly Jelly again come in no that was a good block good block oh I missed are just ripping it now. Got severely outplayed this period. Be a nice little shot blocker for me right now. Come on, Angus. Here we go. Oh, another good chance at the end of the period here. Looks like we're going to OT, and I'm fine with that. Let's see how we uh, escape this one. Shows are 13-6. Time on attack is half of what they had. Yeah, I felt like that was a pretty bad one. Somehow my pass percentage increased. I felt like I was just chucking them away. But we'll see. Lost that face off again. Kelly Jelly over here, but she just kind of, oh, ha, ha, twiddled into the boards there. Oh, the guy got around everybody. He deserved that. Springer again. 
Let's go! Wow! Wow! I definitely thought I had that. The rebound, everything was perfect. Oh no. Wow. Crazy overtime sequence there. We won that. Face off, I don't know how. Definitely appreciating the rebounds coming back out to us though. I just gotta get people to the net to get these rebounds. There goes our bottle. Our electrolytes bottle here. Wow. We are getting shelled. Another dirty pass from Angus. Come on, come on, somebody get up here. That was a good shot. Oh. Come on, Angus. Nope. We're getting close. We had a couple of good chances. We also blocked a couple of good chances. And they've missed some good chances, but see if we can get this head smasher to work. Oh wow, just killed everybody. That didn't go anywhere. Kelly Jelly's down. Let's see if we can rip somebody from the bench here. No. That head smasher sucked. Definitely didn't bounce as much. Wow! And that's it. Doc Kilmore just slayed us. Wow, that sucks. That one sucks. That bites the bullet big time. That one hurts, everybody. one nothing over time. We had a really good couple of chances. So did they. A couple of missed chances. I thought for sure that one we had in the net. Obviously, we got our time on attack a little higher. We out hit them huge. Pass percentage went down a little bit that time. Our shots still higher than them. One more face-offs. But it was not enough to win this one. But we do get a new superstar, which is really cool. Not sure why we get a superstar if we didn't win, but maybe just for progressing this far. This is the furthest we've ever made it, so we'll take it. We've unlocked Willie Bree here. Let's see what he has for us. So we're going back to the Blade Master and trying to rejig this for a second run here. So we can see now that we have our um, some more skills unlocked. I don't really care for clearing the puck far and high because honestly I don't feel like I'm really clearing the puck right now. I'm just kind of taking it in. I do think that getting some speed for Angus is important so I'm going to spend some points or some rubber on getting Angus some speed. So already just like that we went from 20 to 30 and I think that'll be a huge benefit to us. Superstars here we can see, oh I didn't realize we had to buy this guy, that kind of sucks. He's another well-rounded guy here, 45 speed which is pretty decent, 50 checking, 51 shot power and 65 accuracy, that's actually really good. Um, I'm kind of still digging the speed of Kelly Jelly though, so I think we'll just keep rocking with her, especially, I mean, I can't afford Willie Bree right now anyways. But we're going to call it here, and we will pick back up with the next run of Tape to Tape and see how much better that one goes. Thanks for checking this one out, Tape to Tape. Super fun game so far, honestly. Again, like if you can kind of get past what feels like a little bit of clunkiness, just get used to playing an NHL or a hockey game anyways with buttons as opposed to skill stick. And again, it almost feels very comparable to like when you're first starting out with like a hockey ultimate team where you have a whole bunch of nobodies and their overalls are terrible. That's the kind of clunkiness that I'm talking about. But super excited to see how this game picks up, what else they have for crazy power-ups that's just going to continue to help modify the game and just give you a different playable opportunity at each kind of turn here. So again, super glad you guys were able to hang out with us for a little bit here today. Hopefully this was a little bit of insight into the new Tape to Tape game as it's just been released today on Steam and we've been super looking forward to this one for a very long time. As I said a little earlier, super appreciate you guys coming and hanging out for a little bit. If you like this video, and hopefully you did, give us a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games, where we have many more game guides, tips, tricks, and reviews just like this one.